Hello, my name is Kristen Osborne, and in this lecture, I am going to be discussing the metamorphosis of flatfish from their larval stage to their adult stage. Throughout the metamorphosis process, the body of the larvae, which looks similar to other bilaterally symmetric fish, begins to change. These changes, among others, are driven primarily by thyroid hormone. The process begins when the time approaches for a female to spawn. She releases her eggs, which are then fertilized by the male. The eggs are round in shape and will float within the ocean until they hatch. The larvae that hatch are approximately one half of an inch in length. The eggs will hatch into larvae resembling that of bilateral fishes. They are considered planktonic and move about in the ocean amongst the currents. A larval left eye flounder is pictured here on the right. It is important to note that in this stage of life, Flatfish do possess a swim bladder and prey on planktonic organisms. This next slide shows depictions of a flatfish at several stages throughout the larval phase. As seen in picture A, the fish is in the stage known as the early pre-metamorphosis stage when no eye migration is present. Picture B shows the fish in the late pre-metamorphosis stage when there is no eye migration, but the fish swims with a very slight tilt of only a few degrees. Picture C, known as pro-metamorphosis, is when the migration of one eye begins to occur and the angle of tilt increases to around 15 degrees. Picture D depicts the early metamorphic climax stage when the eye migrates halfway to the dorsal midline and the angle of tilt further increases to roughly 20 degrees. Picture E is known as the late metamorphic climax and occurs when the migrating eye becomes very close to the dorsal midline and the angle of tilt can be anywhere from 50 to 70 degrees. The final stage before reaching adulthood is captured in picture F. The larvae are now referred to as post-metamorphic juveniles. The eye has migrated to the dorsal midline and the fish swims with an 80 to 90 degree tilt. The final stage of metamorphosis can be seen in this slide. The fish is now referred to as a settled subadult. At this stage, the migrating eye has moved from the dorsal midline to become adjacent to the corresponding eye. The information regarding the metamorphosis process was supplemented by the Department of Embryology at the Carnegie Institution of Washington. Upon adulthood, flatfish will become benthic as opposed to being planktonic prior to the metamorphosis process. They will live their lives on the ocean floor in order to protect their blind side that has resulted from the migration of the associated eye. They will also lose the swim bladder they possess in the larval stage. Adult flatfish have a highly compressed body shape. This allows them to blend in with their benthic surroundings. They can also manipulate their skin color and patterns to camouflage themselves from potential predators. Seen here is a winter flounder altering its patterns to associate itself with the substrate on the ocean floor.
The metamorphosis of flatfish is a natural phenomenon which continues to amaze even the most learnt scientists. There are many factors that influence this dramatic structural and physical change within these fishes, some of which are still unknown. Continued study of these natural processes will allow us to gain further insight as to how and why these changes occur.